What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony, and today we are in the new 2020 Honda Civic hatchback, courtesy of Apple Honda in York, PA. They're getting a brand new building, by the way. It's gonna look awesome, but nonetheless, I am in this one today. In case you guys didn't know, I have owned four or five Honda Civics throughout my lifetime, which is quite a bit. My last one going 230,000 miles before I traded it in. I wouldn't need anything wrong with it. So this is quite a reliable car, quite a nice daily driver. Overall, I know this because of how many I've owned already. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as expected, there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 Honda Civic hatchback, including the LX starting at $21,650, Sport starting at $22,750, the EX, which is the one we have today, starting at $24,150, EX, L starting at $25,350 and lastly the Sport Touring starting at $28,050 and of course there is also the Type R we're not going to touch on that one today because that is really its own beast deserving of its own video so we're going to go ahead and exclude that one from this particular video but anyways regardless of trim level the power plant on the Civic hatch is going to be the same powering this beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 174 horse horsepower at 6,000 RPM for the LX and EX trim levels. However, if you went with one of the two sport trim levels, you will get 180 horsepower, six horsepower bump there. It's kind of interesting. 162 pound-feet of torque available from the RPM range of 1,700 to 5,500 for the LX and EX, and you will get 177 pound-feet of torque for one of the sport trim levels. And of course, all of that power is going to be sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a six-speed manual or a CVT. We do have the CVT today. However, I did want to say the six-speed manual is now available for the sport touring trim level for 2020 that is one of the new additions whereas previously it was just available for the basic sport trim level now it is available for the sport touring as well so that is definitely a plus in my book so all in all believe it or not zero to 60 time is going to come in in an impressive 6.4 seconds so it is kind of impressive considering this isn't an si or a type r mpg numbers come in at 31 in the city 40 on the highway for the cvt 29 city 37 highway for the six speed here's the kicker though regular unleaded fuel is recommended unless you go with one of the sport trim levels that is going to recommend premium unleaded however you can use regular unleaded but premium is recommended for the extra power specifically so there is also an econ button kind of located just behind the shifter there that is something that you probably want to use on long stretches of highway as i often did on my way to the inner harbor every single day because that is going to bump those mpg numbers up quite substantially substantially now I remember getting up to 50 miles per gallon in my basic ex trim level previously again with it rated at 40 on the highway because all i did was highway driving with that econ button on so it is definitely possible to get more than the estimated 40 miles per gallon on the highway which is kind of nice but so anyways who cares about the econ button right now let's go ahead and turn it off and let's do a quick little acceleration here in our civic hatchback ex and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. Okay, I feel like the power kind of kicked in a little bit in the higher RPMs, a little bit of a turbo lag, I gotta be quite honest, but once it kicks in, you definitely get going. So no issues with merging onto the highway once the RPMs get up a little bit higher, that is at least. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important as we are pulling up to a red light. And so once again, regardless of trim level, the braking setup will be the same. Up front, you're gonna find 11.1 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.2 inch solid rear discs. And there is an electronic parking brake just to the left of the shifter, as well as a brake hold button in case you're stuck in traffic. That's definitely convenient and overall in my short test drive today the braking feel has been just fine and in all my civics that i have owned i have never had any issues with the brakes so braking feel is great there touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back a multi-link rear suspension as well as front and rear stabilizer bars all of that standard for every single trim level and as far as the steering feel goes i think probably my 2006 civic i feel like that one had the best steering feel but 
it is okay. It is kind of as expected in a compact car. It's not going to be quite like a Civic Type R or anything like that, but it's not the loosest steering feel either. It's just pretty much as expected is all I'm trying to say. Ride quality is fine as well. Definitely no issues there. And when it comes to cabin noise, you get a little bit of tire noise, but really other than that, there's really no issues with that either. So, and then last thing I wanted to mention with this driving segment before we move on to the exterior is when it comes to visibility, it's not bad. There is that center bar kind of hindering visibility ever so slightly, but it's not going to be quite as good as the sedan, but visibility is just fine in my book. Anywho, that is it for the driving portion of this review. Let's go ahead and make our way to the exterior because one thing that really impressed me about the 2020 Civic Hatch, specifically this one, is the color. The flake on this paint is just absolutely stunning. I honestly couldn't stop staring at it, so I hope you guys enjoy staring at it in 4K right now because it is absolutely wonderful. But let's go ahead and make our way to the front of the 2020 Honda Civic hatchback. All right, so now making our way to the exterior of the 2020 Honda Civic hatchback. There are actually some exterior changes for 2020, believe it or not. Up front, you will find revised fog light housings with body colored crosshairs. That is what those, uh, that little body colored line is right above the fog lights there. But front grille is actually gonna be slightly refreshed as well. And the headlights now get a blacked out treatment. So some blacked out headlights, which is a good thing. That of course looks better. Projector beam halogen headlights are gonna come standard on all trims, but the sport touring, because that sport touring trim level is gonna actually give you LED headlights. And fog lights, of course, are gonna come standard on all trims, but the LX. So since we do have the EX trim level today, therefore we do have these fog lights just below, which look very good in my opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to the sides black window surrounds are going to come standard for every single trim level so black window surrounds of course being more of a sporty look so it looks good on the civic there body colored power adjustable side mirrors will come standard heated side mirrors will come with the ex trim level and up so we do have them today led integrated turd signals are going to come with the sport touring trim level and up also wanted to mention i'll get more into the safety feature later if you guys are wondering why there is a camera on the side of this passenger side side mirror here that is going to show up on the infotainment screen inside so you can better see what is beside you so you don't go turning into anybody that's a pretty cool little safety feature but anywho continuing on to the wheel setup 16 inch alloy wheels will come with the lx that is pretty cool actually a lot of the base trim levels of compact cars will actually give you steel wheels with hubcaps so it is kind of nice that they will come alloy wheels a real thing so Jumping up to the EX trim levels, uh, that is both EX and EXL, you're gonna get 17 inch alloy wheels. That of course is what you're looking at right now. They look good in black in my opinion. And the sport trim level is gonna give you 18 inch alloy wheels. So jumping up the size once again, but that is about it for the side though. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back. Didn't wanna mention, you do have a shark fin antenna that's gonna come standard on all trims as well as that body colored roof line spoiler. Again, standard for all trims. It, Definitely looks pretty good up there. And of course you have that rear window wiper back there as well since we do have a hatchback, but here is the real win in my book. Compact car comes standard with LED taillights. Well done Honda for putting LED taillights standard on every trim level of the Civic. Body colored trim accents once again found just below. That is gonna kind of tie in with the front bumper as well. So kind of rear fog lights have the same treatment there with the body colored lines. And here's an interesting part. When it comes to the exhaust outlets, there are actually dual exhaust outlets regardless of what trim level you go with. So we actually have dual exhaust outlets to see if you guys can see it under here. They're hidden underneath here on our EX trim level, but if you were to go with the sport trim level, you're actually gonna get a center mounted dual exhaust outlet setup. So either way, you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back, when it comes to opening the rear hatch of the Honda Civic, there is actually a button on the key fob. However, that button is actually simply to unlock the rear hatch. So it's not actually gonna open it like a power mechanism or anything like that. It is just simply gonna unlock it. But once behind there, there is simply a button. Just lift up on that and that is gonna open it up for you. And then once opened up, 
There is a little bit going on back there. There is a cargo area light that is pretty nice. There's actually a cargo cover as well. I was pretty impressed with that. With a hatchback, that is sometimes very nice because if you have some stuff back there, this is a hatchback, so you can very easily look through that rear hatch, look through that rear window. But if there's a cargo cover back there, that may very well deter a couple people from trying to break the glass and steal something. So it's always good. But once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 25.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 64 40 split so that rear seat does fold down bumping the cubic feetness up to 46.2 good bit of space there make your own way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at an even 36 inches and to my surprise i was actually very comfortable back there i'm an even six feet tall by the way for reference and even if i was a little bit taller the back part of the front seats does have a little bit of give to it so if you did have a taller person back there their knees could go into the back seat a little bit and they could still be comfortable i would imagine but i was perfectly comfortable and again i'm six feet tall also for all trim levels but the lx back there you're going to find a rear center armrest definitely very nice as well one thing that did kind of surprise me was the lack of rear air vents or lack of rear ventilation back there but that's kind of 50 50 with compact cars sometimes you get it sometimes you don't you don't really need it with smaller cars anyways but i could not find that back there but i will say if you wanted rear heated seats simply go with the sport touring trim level that is that is pretty cool there but now make your way to the front seats cloth surfaces are going to come with the lx sport and ex trim levels then if you wanted leather seating simply go with the exl of course l meaning leather or the sport touring trim level is also going to give you leather seating all the way around but heated seats are going to come with the exl and the sport touring once again and if you go with the ex trim level and up like we have today you will get an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat which i was very happy to find as well so that's pretty nice then take a look forward there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel for all trim levels also for all trim levels but the lx you will find a leather wrap steering wheel as well as far as the grips go, they're actually a little bit larger than most other compact cars, which is a good thing, but still not too large, but really they are kind of just right, honestly, as far as the steering wheel grips go. But making our way to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Honda logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch, and there's actually a kind of circular button in the lower left-hand corner there. That is gonna be your remote start. So if you wanted to warm up the Civic on super cold days or cool it down on super hot days, simply hold down that circular button on the key fob there, and that's gonna start it up before you actually get inside. So that's kind of cool. But there is a push button start for all trim levels but the LX, and it is a nice red push button start, perhaps paying homage to the old S2000, which kind of pioneered the whole push button start thing for all manufacturers, really, in my opinion. But anywho, all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and just press the engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. But say so that once started up, gauges are actually pretty cool. It is a digital gauge setup here. Engine temp is gonna be on your left, fuel information on your right. There is a large digital display front and center which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side there giving you things like a large digital speedometer if you wanted it how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's when you need your next oil change it's always convenient you can also check out your radio settings bluetooth information a ton of different things up there so that's definitely very convenient touching on overall interior quality there is a power moonroof loving that we have that today that is on the ex trim level and up sport pedals are going to come with the sport trims as expected also also dual zoom climate control with the EX trim level and up. That's what you're looking at right now. It's also very nice. Home light controls coming standard on the sport touring trim level, meaning the garage door openers. Also, I did want to mention there's going to be some different dashboard trims dependent on the trim level that you go with. For instance, kind of a brushed black trim with the EXL and the sport touring. You're going to find a new painted pattern with the LX and EX. It kind of has a wood look to it, but it's not but it kind of looks like it. It's pretty cool. Then also a geometric pattern kind of trim for the sport trim level. But overall, perhaps one of my favorite things about the Honda Civic, the way they do this is right in front of the shifter, you have your USB outlet and there is a little pass through thing for the cord. So simply hook your phone up to that cord there but then just below that there's an area for you to kind of store all the wires so they are out of sight out of mind so if you're the kind of person that kind of clutter really bothers you this is going to be one of the best things ever because it is going to hide all of those wires so that you don't have to look at them so that is definitely a plus in my book of course just behind that you have the electronic parking brake and the brake hold button if you're stuck in a traffic jam perhaps just behind that two cup holders and continuing back a little bit extra storage and there is a movable tray also which you can slide all the way up to the cup holders and all the way back 
That is pretty cool. And another little tray just behind that as well. So overall, a pretty nice finish to the Honda Civic hatchback here. With my favorite part being the fact that you can hide all those pesky wires. That's always a good thing. But now let's touch on the tech display here. Five inch LCD screen is going to come with the LX. But when you go with the sport trim level and up, that is where it really gets good with the seven inch high resolution touchscreen display, giving you Bluetooth and audio streaming. Also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, this is where you hook it up to the Civic and it's going to give you free navigation through your smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there too. If you wanted a factory navigation system, you don't need it if you have a smartphone, but if you wanted it, simply go with the sport touring trim level. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you're going to get four speakers with 160 watts with the LX trim level. If you jump up to the sport EX or EXL, you're going to get eight speakers with 180 watts. And then if you jump up to the sport touring, you're going to get 12 speakers with 540 watts on the subwoofer and so you guys know what we have to do next we do have that eight speaker sound system with 180 watts so what do you say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one actually kind of impressed there i gotta be honest there was a good bit of bass to the point where it was almost rumbling the seats a little bit so eight speakers well done this is a smaller car this is a civic so can imagine eight speakers are really more than enough for a car like this but anyhow kind of impressed with the eight speaker sound system there but last thing i wanted to mention on the tech display though is when you do put the civic in reverse you will find a rear view camera for all trim levels letting you know who or what is behind you along with a couple different views as well actually there's buttons in the lower left hand corner there you can go more of a wide angle view or straight back or literally just underneath of the Civic. So if there's a bike kind of out of your view on some of the other angles, you're going to be able to see that so you don't run over your kid's bike. So that's kind of cool too. <laughs> but anyways, as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. Also in the back, you're going to find latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. And also standard on all trim levels, you're going to find a ton of safety features included in what Honda calls Honda Sensing, which is going to give you a ton of different things. Forward collision warning, lane departure warning, collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, lane keep assist, automatic high beams, and even adaptive cruise control standard for every single trim level even the lx that's pretty impressive if you went with the ex trim level and up that is also going to give you honda lane watch this is the cool thing where uh you put on the turn signal and it's going to project onto that infotainment screen what is beside so you don't go turning into anybody but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you are into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel hence the 2020 honda civic hatchback but anyways that is about it for this one you guys do appreciate all of your smiley faces watching this video and i will see y'all in the next video stay gold when the world seems to shine like you've had too much water